Um, I think there's definitely a need for this in town. I mean, I've been part of this organization that has been working to uh, to bring the skate park um, to Dubuque since about 05, and I've been a user of uh, the park in Dubuque since I was a little kid. And seen numerous generations come through that park and uh, and inspire new youth. And it's just a time now where the old park is outdated, and uh, it, it's just really time for us to um, to update our facilities. Um, how do you feel about uh, some of the comments that were made today from um, some skeptical residents near Flora Park who kind of questioned the need for it, maintenance cost of it, and that type of thing? Um, I don't think it's anything new. I mean, it's definitely stuff that we're aware that, you know, any type of um, project you're working on, you're going to have some type of resistance from, um, and questions from, from um, neighbors that maybe just don't fully understand um, the project or the need for it or the culture of... Um, of what's going on so you I think it was okay I think there was some good constructive um, criticisms that went on that enlightened not only our side but also I think it enlightened um, some of the residents side that had their concerns as well and then what's your um, kind of preferred option uh, location for park? Um, I think it's pretty clear just kind of speaking for the group that uh, that we all want um, option B pretty heavily um, just for numerous reasons and for the flow of a um, of flora park I think every skateboarder that was at this meeting and that wasn't at this meeting feels that uh, option B would be the best. Sure, so after tonight's meeting um, we'll take all that input we got and then we'll also give the online stuff another week or so probably and then we'll kind of compile all that information. Uh, after we get all that compiled we'll take uh, the report from our consultant that he's working on right now for us for these two sites. We'll compile that and then the next step would be making a recommendation of the specific location, option A or option B, to uh, the Park and Rec Commission. Great. And then, so kind of what's the, the timeline that you're looking at for this project? You know, I'm hoping we can move it along rather quickly. Whether it'll get on the, the September Park and Rec Commission meeting, I'm not really sure. If we can squeeze it in, we will try. And then after that goes through commission, we will uh, move it forward to council after that. Um, otherwise, it'll be on the October meeting for sure for the Park and Rec Commission, and then we'll move it on to council after that. So then kind of hoping for um, kind of a final plan to go to councils later this fall then? Correct, yep. And then when are you looking at construction? So the next step after we get the, uh, the location and the final design approved, we'll have to do another RFP specifically for construction. So that would be something that I would work on over the winter, hopefully get it out. And then if, depending on the fundraising and how they're doing on their fundraising, then we could potentially, um, if all the money is available, we could potentially start construction in the spring.